then rolling on substituted service on Yahaya Belo till the 23rd of May. Talking politics, the crisis in the People's Democratic Party has again taken a new turn as some federal lawmakers in the party alleged that they have uncovered plots to shift the election at today's NEC meeting to August to allow the acting chairman, Omar Damagum, retain his position. The spokesperson of the group, Ikenga Ogochinyere, stated this in a press statement that the withdrawal of the suspended chairman, Iyocha Ayu's pending litigations, all imp impediments to the emergence of a new PDP chairman at the day's NEC meeting had been removed. According to him, former chairman Iyocha Ayu's case was used as an excuse for Mr. Damagum to elongate his stay, but by withdrawing his case, it has paved way for emergence of a chairman from the North Central. The lawmakers condemned the idea of allowing a serving minister in the APC-led government into the highly confidential National Caucus meeting. Senior reporter Ademola Lawrence joins me now from Abuja Studios for more. Ademola, on Wednesday, we saw the Minister of the FCT, Samwiki and uh, Atiku Abubakar, alongside others, attend the National Caucus meeting of the PDP. Walk us through the highlights of the meeting. Yeah, <clears throat> what's well, indeed an interesting one yesterday. Uh, the, the National Caucus meeting was part of the series of meetings that the people, uh, People's Democratic Party have been having and leading to the next meeting, of course, which is going to happen in the next one hour. Um, prior to that National Caucus meeting, there was the National Working Committee meeting that happened on Tuesday, where, of course, the NWC actually passed a vote of confidence on the act, uh, acting National Chairman, Demagum. And, of course, yesterday, uh, the People's Democratic Party uh, Governors Forum, uh, of course, led by Bala Mohammed, also, uh, in, their own, uh, in their own submission, said... There was nothing like factions in the party, so they are going into the next meeting, which is today, you know, to sort out all the issues that have actually arrived from the different, uh, different people who have, who have grieved. You know? And of course, at the National Caucus meeting, a, lo a whole lot of things uh, was actually discussed. The issue of the River State PDP crisis was also, was also on, on the table. And the National Caucus meeting also agreed you know, to bring in the fact that uh, there must be uh, a state congress, a local government congress, and of course the world congress that must be conducted that will bring in new executives into the party. And they also approved, of course, uh, the reconstitution, uh, the reconciliation and disciplinary committee of the party uh, to de deal with any other thing that might actually uh, proceed from the aggrieved people who are in the party uh, to make sure everything goes on well. They also said that uh, extend their life constitution of the party to accommodate new suggestions on how the party can better run. So th those are some of the things uh, they are actually looking at. And the major focus for most journalists there yesterday was the fact of uh, the, the leadership tussle. In the in the party, but of course uh, that that was actually avoided at uh, the National Caucus Party. Uh, the National Caucus uh, meeting didn't address that matter; they rather just shied away from it. All right, and uh, today the next meeting would be taking place. You know, some federal lawmakers have alleged that there is a plot to shift the election, uh, you know, of uh, the chairman from today to August. Uh, you know. What have you gathered about the agenda, if indeed this would not be taking place at the meeting? So earlier this morning, uh, there was a, a BOT meeting, of course, uh, chaired by uh, Senator Adolfus Uwabara, of course, who is the uh, chairman of the PDP board, uh, BOT. Uh, so a, a whole couple of issues were actually also talked about. And one of those issues were that of the, uh, the leadership crisis working the party. And if you remember, Iyo Chahayu, of course, is from the North Central. And one of the things that was brought up for is the fact that, one, because of the outs, the style at which the former chairman was actually uh, pulled out of the office, so it is on a norm, uh, the, the next person that should come, should come from that same, uh, that same uh, regional uh, region, but of course that was not uh, the issue. So there were a lot of you know things happening in that in that particular arena, and litigations upon litigations 
uh, you know, how you had to withdraw uh, his own uh, litigation from the court. And so there's a lot of things happening in that arena. So the BOT in its wisdom says, you know, all of these things actually need to be settled. You know, going to the next meeting, like I told you, the next meeting is going to happen in the next one hour. You know, so they need to iron all of that out. Factions are already saying because of this, because of this person, uh, um, this one cannot be mingling because he's mingling with the uh, uh, APC. You know, just to put it out there, you know, some factions are saying because the FCT minister, you know, is in this government, so they don't want him in the national caucus. We don't want him in in in, in the and in the executive of the party. So there's a whole lot happening in terms of why some people want the current acting national chairman and why some people just think that his tenure has expired because he's acting, you know, in their constitution, it's over a year. So another chairman should actually emerge. All right, Ademola Lawrence, thank you for this update. We'll be getting more from you as the meeting gets underway. Thank you again. Still ahead on TVC News at 1. Lagos State Government issues three 